Hey guys, what is up? It's Vanessa and welcome back to another what's for dinner video. This week I have four meals to share with you guys. One of them is just tacos, but hey, who doesn't love tacos? They're one of my favorite foods. I have a delicious baked rice that my mom used to make all the time. I love it. I'm going to share it with you guys. I have barbecue chicken pizza using a secret ingredient inspired by Mandy in the making and delicious mini cheddar meatloaves also inspired by Mandy. barbecue cheddar meatloaves. This was a recipe I saw over on Mandy in the Making's channel. I will link it down below, but I used to make mini muffin meatloaves all the time with a little cube of cheddar. So, so good. I will link the original recipe below, but this is how I do mine. I eyeball everything, you guys. So a couple eggs. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs you're going to see in a little bit. I'm going to notice that it's a little wet, so I add a few more breadcrumbs. I didn't have any cheddar cheese, so we're opting for the Tex-Mex shredded, some Worcestershire sauce. You're going to add some mustard. I'm going to add some chili sauce in here. It's going to be fantastic. I'm also adding some onion powder and this is just a homemade seasoning mix. I actually got this recipe from Crouton Cracker Jack. If you've never checked out that channel, it has the best chicken pot pie recipe and in that recipe is the uh, seasoning salt recipe. I love it. I use it for everything. <laughs> Once I go ahead and get everything combined, I'm just gonna scoop out about two heaping tablespoons of the meat mixture and form them together. You can make any shape you want. I just kind of form them like little hamburger patties, as long as they're the same thickness so that they'll cook evenly. I also formed a few meatballs just to test out. I ended up throwing them in the freezer for a backup meal. I think they'd be great with spaghetti and meatballs. I'm just brushing on some of the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce right on top and sliding them into the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and prep some green beans. If you guys know, I got these on my grocery haul about a week or two ago. I really can't believe that they're going bad as quickly as they are. I actually only managed to get this meal out of these. These are what I was able to salvage. And yeah, I was kind of disappointed in that. I'm gonna throw them in a shallow pan with some water just to steam them up. And then we're gonna cook them up with butter and garlic. Super good. Thank you for those of you that recommended that on my grocery haul. I'm also gonna peel up some potatoes and get them chopped up so we can have some delicious mashed potatoes with gravy with our meatloaf. I'm gonna go ahead and stir up my gravy using the gravy granules I mentioned in a previous video. You can get these in the international food aisle. They're amazing. Just take it easy because it does thicken up a minute or two after you mix it and you can end up with a big blob of gravy. Oh no, anxiety creeps up on me. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over, I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave My friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing These meatloaves came out phenomenal. Jamie even said this would be good on a burger. I ended up making a little bag of rice just in case anybody didn't want mashed potatoes and gravy. I was not a fan and honestly, who doesn't want mashed potatoes and gravy? So yeah, everybody ate it up. It work, work, but it doesn't work I try to say something But there's 
Taco Tuesday. I swear, if you watched my What's For Dinners about a year and a half, two years ago, there was always a taco video because we were obsessed. We took a little break for a little while, went on a hiatus. I think everybody was getting tired of them, but I'm kind of reintroducing it again. We've got all of our little taco accoutrements here. My tapatio, which I was so glad to find at the grocery store. We've got some pickled jalapenos. Amazing. Guys, this is my favorite. My ground beef was still a little bit frozen in the center. As you could see, I was struggling to get through with my masher there. So I went ahead and threw a lid on it and it should be melted by the time I'm done chopping up my tomatoes and my lettuce. Out of your comfort zone, it's a blessing in disguise. Get out of what you call home, your name is written in the sky. It might feel just like you're on your own. I feel like I'm just name dropping all over the place lately, but I have been obsessed with watching What's For Dinners again, so obviously Mandy in the Making has come up, but Tiffany at Large Family Love, she is one of my favorite channels, a daily vlogger, I absolutely love her. And I saw her putting minced onion in her taco meat. I've never done that, so I tried it today. I love it, it's now a staple. Oh, it doesn't work, I try to work, work, work. Do you like hard shells or soft shells? I prefer hard shells, but I wanted to try a soft one tonight. Tell me what you like on your tacos. So I am sharing with you guys my mom's baked rice. We're also gonna have some shake and bake chicken breasts in the air fryer. One of you recommended that in another video, so I tried it. You can check and see how it works out, but you're just gonna dump all of this into a dish with a lid. I have some frozen chicken that I cooked up last week because I am the queen of taking meat out and not using it. And instead of throwing it out that day, I decided to cook it knowing I was making this rice. I think about it seven days a week and this just can't be my favorite thing about this recipe is how you just dump everything into your casserole dish, throw a lid on it, and it's ready to go in an hour. At around the 40 minute mark, I usually go in and give it a quick stir. If you find that your rice is too light or you wish it was a little bit darker, feel free to add more soy sauce. I just like this amount because I didn't have low sodium. I have added double the soy sauce in the past in a little bit less water if I had low sodium, but I'm telling you it gets very, very salty, so don't be tempted to add more than half a cup of regular sodium soy sauce. This plenty salty enough. And even without the color, the flavor is there, so don't stress. But I kinda hope he breaks her heart into little pieces and let me pick them all back up and put them back together. But I can't believe I let you slip. I think about it seven days a week. Here is my Hilroy notebook started in 2004. I have some of my favorite recipes in here, so I will definitely hand that down to my daughter someday. Go ahead and take a screenshot if you would like to. Just remember the mushrooms, you include the juice. All right, let's go ahead and shake up our chicken breasts. I took two chicken breasts and split them both in half and I'm just shaking them up and I'm gonna go ahead and throw them into my air fryer. I put them on 400 for about nine minutes. I did end up um, taking two out that were thinner, that were cooked a little sooner, but again, just eyeball it. These came out incredible, so juicy. I will never, ever do them in the oven again. What if I just wanna be you? Here is the spread. I went ahead and steamed up some broccoli and I melted some cheese Whiz. I mean, you could do Velveeta, whatever you like, but we're cheese Whiz family here. Uh, I melted that in the microwave. Nobody will eat it without it. So here we go. <laughs> Here's the two that I took out earlier. You can see they just look phenomenal. Delicious little chicken cutlets, I guess. Um, the rice, look at this. It's so good. I've been eating it for a couple of days already. 
I tell you, it just gets better and better. And I'm also a fan of canned mushrooms. Leave a comment down below if you're team canned mushrooms. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. But life is one big riddle. All the future and okay, definitely have saved the best for last. These pizza crusts, this four pack from Costco, best deal you'll ever get. 10 bucks, the crusts, the sauce, everything. This is everything that's gonna go on my barbecue chicken pizza. Yes, canned chicken, amazing. Thank you Mandy from Mandy in the Making because I was trying to figure out what to do with my canned chicken that I found in my pantry and this was a recipe that popped up and then I found, I fell down the Mandy in the Making rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, so red onion, pineapple, which she didn't put on hers but said at the end of the video she wished she had, the sweet and spicy barbecue sauce, love it, love it. We're also gonna serve it up with a Caesar salad and I'm also just making a straight up pepperoni so you can just see how phenomenal these pizza crusts are. Okay, firstly, let's slap together a pepperoni pizza. I will say the sauce in these is phenomenal. I love it. There's no need to use your own preferred sauce if you're trying to budget and save money, that is. This works out to 250 a pizza crust with sauce. I mean, that's a great price in my opinion. I also live on the East Coast in Canada where everything is expensive. Uh, I'm gonna top it up with some mozzarella and some Tex-Mex cheese, slap my pepperonis on there, put it in the oven, you've got pepperoni pizza. I've slapped these together for lunches. They're phenomenal canned chicken i have a love-hate relationship for this stuff i grabbed it at costco a while back and i haven't really been sure what to do with it the best description i can have for the texture and almost the taste of this once i added the barbecue sauce and jamie said it best it was like pulled pork you could easily take this mixture and sprinkle it on top of some nachos i had some left after i made my pizza so we just threw it in a ziploc bag but yeah it's very versatile it definitely has that pulled pork texture and as long as you put enough barbecue sauce or other seasonings on it you won't really notice that it's canned chicken <laughs> At this point, it's totally up to you how much you want to put on, what you want to put on. I just slathered on my barbecue sauce as the base, mozzarella cheese. We're adding a few little clumps of the chicken mixture, some red onions, some pineapple, and we're slapping it in the oven. It's amazing. I will say, make sure you cook it long enough, otherwise your crust can come out a little floppy. It's a difference of an extra minute in the oven and it comes out crispy and divine. This is our favorite bagged salad from the Superstore, the President's Choice brand. We absolutely love it. I'm a little mess, just wanna stay with you, ooh, ooh, and we'll do anything that we want today. The kids inhaled this pepperoni pizza, but it was my fault. I should have left it in that extra minute, like I said to you, but I learned my lesson when I put my barbecue chicken pizza in. You're gonna see it comes out a lot crispier, but then my daughter said she loves floppy crust pizza, so whatever. <laughs> And now for my little added trick here, sweet pickles. Don't knock it till you try it. If you haven't tried pulled pork or pulled chicken nachos with pickles on them, Come on, come on, so good. Sweet pickles and the spicy barbecue and the pineapple. It was amazing, you guys. I had so much fun preparing these meals this week, sharing them with you guys. I hope it inspires you to cook a little bit for your family this week, eat at home, do all those fun things. Anyway, I love you guys so stinking much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. 